ninja, green ninja, Dijon keeps to keep it clean. Green ninja, green ninja, needs to feel the ninja too. Green ninja, green ninja, bicycling with Zach Green ninja, green ninja, never gonna stop until we do this thing. Green ninja. On this episode of the Green Ninja Show, we're going to talk about the Green Ninja. Green ninja, 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 green Cody, you've picked one of my favorite subjects. But let me consult someone who can really wrap their head around the subject. I'm Dr. Burrito, and this is our operating room. Burritos, although they look quite similar, they can have different ingredients and very different environmental impact. Let's compare. Two burritos, por favor. Our patients, one beef, one veggie, seem similar. But are they? Clearly the veggie burrito has a lower carbon pressure, but we don't have accurate numbers yet. The beef burrito measures 3,800 grams of carbon dioxide equivalent. The veggie burrito is only 500, but I don't see a difference. We'll have to operate. Scalpel. Suction. Sweat. Rice, low. Beans, low. Cheese, a little higher. Beef, off the chart. Nurse, veggie burrito. What? My diagnosis is very clear. The beef in the burrito requires much more energy to produce, thus emitting far more carbon emissions in the atmosphere compared to the veggie burrito. The prescription for a healthy planet can be a menu choice away. Let's choose wisely. Well, sink your teeth into that, everyone. Sometimes helpful decisions can be free. Or in this case, frijole. What other food choices can we make to protect the planet? To learn more about planet-friendly food choices, visit GreenNinja.org!